Hey guys, Sylvan here. Today we're learning how to slay the Kraken for the RuneScape Idiot. Now, the Kraken is definitely not the hardest boss, but I remember what I thought before I tried it. The fight actually seemed daunting, probably because it was instance and I was afraid of dying. Today we're going to go through requirements, how to get there, a recommended setup, and strategy and tips. Just as a quick note for those of you still waiting on my raids guide, it's still coming, I've just had to redo some of it as I wasn't happy with the quality, and I think I strayed a little bit from what this series is about. But be sure to check out my Twitch if you'd like to learn, and stay tuned for the guide in the coming week. Now on with the guide. First up, let's look at the requirements. Obviously, this isn't going to be for your average Nightmare Zone product, as you're going to need at least 87 Slayer, along with 50 Magic, 40 Defense, and 60 HP. These are just the minimums and you're not going to be very efficient or make much with the minimum stats, so I'd highly recommend the following. 75 Magic for a Trident if you have one, 70 Defense and Range for Kirill's Armor, 45 Prayer for Mystic Might, and 75 HP for Survivability. While there are no quest requirements, I'd highly recommend completing the following quests. Fairy Tale Part 2 for the Fairy Ring Teleport, Horror from the Deep for the Prayer Book, and Underground Pass if you're using an Ibn Staff. You'll also need to be on a Kraken task or you won't be able to attack it. There are two main ways of getting there, the AKQ Fairy Ring or the Piscatorus Teleport with a Teleport Scroll or a Western Banner. You can also walk there from somewhere, but the trips pay for the Piscatorus Teleport in the first few kills, so that's really a waste of time. Once you're in the cave, walk towards the crack in the wall. The normal rooms are generally full with people, so it's better to create a private room. It'll cost $25,000 dues, but it can be taken directly out of your bank, so you don't need to bring it with you. Creating a private room is also instant, so you will not be able to recover any items lost on death but it means the items that you drop on the ground last 30 minutes, so you're easily able to juggle food. Now let's go through the setups. The Kraken has very low magic defense, so it doesn't take much offense to hit it often, and during the fight, you'll be constantly attacked by five different sources at once. Because of this, you're gonna notice that we bring gear with high magic defense rather than offense. When picking your gear, just make sure you have over 25 magic attack when using an Ibn Staff, and over zero if you're using a Trident. If you have any less, there's a steep DPS drop off. This is the minimum setup and good if you have no money. Take an Ivan Staff, Book of Darkness, the best dragon hide you have, an occult if you have one, a Seer's Ring, and some Mystic to fill in the blanks. Don't forget you'll need some bronze arrows along with any short bow for the fight as well. You won't need to deal any damage at all with the arrows or bow, so bronze is fine. For your inventory, take a method to get there, in this case I put in the Draymond Staff, a rune pouch with Lord, Death, Nature, and Smoke runes. This is for the Ivan's Blast, High Alk, and Teleports to Varrock a super defense, as it helps greatly with lower tier gear like this one, and fill up the rest with sharks. If you'd like to use Mystic Might when attacking, bring a prayer pot or two in place of the sharks, and if you have an imbued heart, take out another shark for it. If you don't have an imbued heart and you'd like to bring a magic potion, swap out the super defense for a battle mage potion. Here's an example of a higher level setup. You'll notice we've swapped to a high magic defense shield. This could be an Ellie, Spectral, Buckler, or an Odium Ward in this case, like I have here. If you don't have a magic defense shield, Take a Book of Darkness or a Mage's Book. You'll still be taking your best magic defense top and bottom, in this case I have Kirill's. For the ring slot, a Ring of Suffering is best and then Seer's. An imbued Seer's Ring is better than a Brimstone Ring here and considerably cheaper. And don't forget to take Bronze Arrows as you'll need them. The inventory setup is very similar to the other setup. In your Rune Pouch, take Smoke, Lore and Nature Runes for Alks and a Teleport to Varrock. Take an imbued Heart or a Battle Mage Potion. A way to get there, a Short Bow and fill the rest with food. Similar to the last setup, if you want to use your Augury or Mystic Might, take two Prayer Potions instead of two of the Sharks as well. Now, let's kill the Kraken. Once you've entered, you'll notice there's five pools in the water. The center one is the Kraken, but it won't come out until you've aggroed all of the tentacles in the four smaller pools. Aggroing each tentacle will make them attack you for the rest of the fight, but they'll disappear once you've killed the Kraken. The Kraken itself can hit up to 28, but is very inaccurate against our high magic defense, while the tentacles are accurate, but can only hit up to two. To do each kill, equip your ranged weapon and attack each tentacle pull once. Then, if you're praying Mystic Might, pray now and use your imbued heart or magic potion if you brought them. Swap to your magic weapon and attack the Kraken until it dies. Once you've killed it, swap back to your ranged weapon ready for your next kill. That's all! You have now conquered the most mechanically intensive boss in existence and you have truly ascended to the demigod status. Congratulations! But, Sir Godman, there are some additional tips to make your trips go a little bit smoother. First, keep your health above 60 if you can. I know most people would suggest above 30 or 40, but 60 means if you DC and you're very unlucky with your RNG, you're still unlikely to die. Next, you can drop your food to pick up drops as they last 30 minutes in instanced areas. 
If you'd like, you can mage to aggro the tentacles as well, but with range you can use bronze arrows so it's a lot cheaper. Protection prayers have no effect on the kraken, so don't use them. And sometimes, unfortunately, if you're in a public kraken cave, crashers will deliberately try and take every kill to try and force you to pay to use the cave. But never give in to the terrorists. Just tell them to fuck off and use a private room. Thanks for watching. I'm thinking of doing some more of these shorter guides like Scatizo and Callisto. I actually really enjoyed doing them, so let me know what you think. See you next time. Bye!